why sitting too much is bad for your health. It can shorten your life. You are more likely to die earlier from any cause if you sit for long stretches at a time. It doesn't help if you exercise every day or not. Of course, that's no excuse to skip the gym. If you do that, your time may be even shorter. You'll undo all that exercise. The effects of too much sitting are hard to counter with exercise. Even if you work out 7 hours a week, far more than the suggested 2-3 hours, you can't reverse the effect of sitting 7 hours at a time. Don't throw away all that hard work at the gym by hitting the couch for the rest of the day. Keep moving. You could get DVT. Deep vine thrombosis, DVT, is a clot that forms in your leg, often because you sit still for too long. It can be serious if the clot breaks free and lodges in your lung. You might notice swelling and pain, but some people have no symptoms. That's why it's a good idea to break up long sitting sessions. Your anxiety might spike. It could be that you are often by yourself and engaged in a screen-based activity. If this disrupts your sleep, you can get even more anxious. Plus, too much alone time can make you withdraw from your friends and loved ones, which is linked to social anxiety. Scientists are still trying to figure out the exact cause. If you don't move it, you could lose it. Older adults who aren't active may be more likely to get osteoporosis, weakened bones, and could slowly become unable to perform basic tasks of everyday life, like taking a bath or using the toilet. While moderate exercise won't prevent it, you don't have to go out and run a marathon or take up farming to stay mobile in your golden years. Just don't plant yourself on the couch for hours at a time. It hurts your heart. Scientists first noticed something was up in a study that compared two similar groups. Transit drivers, who sit most of the day, and conductors or guards, who don't. Though their diets and lifestyles were a lot alike, those that sat were about twice as likely to get heart disease as those that stood. Dementia is more likely. 
If you see it too much, your brain could look just like that of someone with dementia. Sitting also raises your risk of heart disease, diabetes, stroke, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, which all play a role in the condition. Moving throughout the day can help even more than exercise to lower your risk of all these health problems. Your odds of diabetes rise. Yep, you are more likely to have it too if you sit all day. And it isn't only because you burn fewer calories. It's the actual sitting that seems to do it. It isn't clear why, but doctors think sitting may change the way your body reacts to insulin, the hormone that helps it burn sugar and carbs for energy. You'll gain weight. Watch a lot of TV, surf the web for hours on end, you're more likely to be overweight or obese. If you exercise every day, that's good, but it won't make a huge dent in extra weight you gain as a result of too much screen time. It drags your back. The seated position puts huge stress on your back muscles, neck, and spine. It's even worse if you slouch. Look for an ergonomic chair. That means it'll be right, height, and supports your back in the proper spots. But remember, no matter how comfortable you get, your back still won't like a long sitting session. Get up and move around for a minute or two every half hour to keep your spine in line.